Uh, let's get Adam and Gretchen up. Bring your chairs with you. Yes. And for this game, I'd like to invite any two um, uh, uh, volunteers from the audience over the age of 16. Oh, you're 16. Come on up. What's your name? You're 18. What, what is it? Mandy! Come on up. What's that? No, 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 she said. Uh, anyone else? Oh, there's in the back. I can't see you, but come on up. I saw the hand. Yes, sir. What's your name? Uh oh, you're the youngest. Okay, come on up. I'm sorry, what's your name? Michaela. Michaela. You're kidding. Yay, Michaela! Yay, Michaela! Alright. Michaela and Mandy, I am going to explain the game to you guys as I explain it to the audience. These two here are pretty good improvisers, but every once in a while they get stuck for the next word or phrase, and that's where you two come in. So, uh, Gretchen's going to tap you on your left shoulder, and Adam will go to your right shoulder. Whenever they touch you, just give the next line. No, I'm sorry, the next uh, word in the sentence. So, it might be something like, uh, I went to the store to pick up some... Soda. Soda. I needed soda because I was planning a... Party. A party. And there you go. And so, <laughs> you can say pretty much anything within family friendly bounds. Okay? And they have to make it work within the context of the scene. Let's give them a word in case they get stuck. What's a good go-to word? Potato. 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 Potato is simple and easy. If you get stuck, if you get stuck, just say potato. Okay? Say, uh, let's see. Uh, these two are arguing about something. What are they arguing about? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's that? What is... If hoverboards are real. If what are real? Hoverboards. Hoverboards, that's perfect. Uh, are hoverboards real, yes or no? That's your argument or inspiration for the scene. Take it away. I seen it. I seen it with my own eyes, Bob. Listen, Randy. It's impossible, okay? I, 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 I Google, I Google it, okay? And they, and they did. And then the Googles, they don't exist. Okay? Yeah. Yesterday, you were so stupid, you had to Google how to make pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah. Yeah, and I made a delicious pineapple for you, did I? And you said thank you. Guys, go ahead. I poked, go my, ahead. I poked my hands all up, too. You said you did great. This is like the last time when I tried to make you that delicious meal of... Forked onions. <laughs> Forked onions. <laughs> was disgusting. You know what? We've been friends for a long time. We've been my friends for at least seven years. Seven years. That's like a lifetime. Exactly. It's our anniversary. I didn't think you even remember. <laughs> well, you know what, Bob? Today is the day. Today is the day I say no more apples. <laughs> Not one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not even a pine. Good guy, got a granny, Grace Smith. Come on, big lady. Yeah, yeah. You're a big talker. This is like the last time you talked about giving up. Cats. Cats. You really ain't done the cats. I went three days. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Listen. If we're going to get along, you and me, we got to look at each other in the eye. And we got to say, I love you. That's more than one word. I love you, Bob. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. I'm emotionally closed down inside. <laughs> it's you, it's me, it's... Daddy. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins! You promised you would never say that name in this Mary house. Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins! You know what else? You know what else you told me to never say? I didn't hear what you said. I was thinking. And that is Taiwanese for apple! <laughs> I don't even know what we're fighting about anymore. I know, I'm sorry. Listen. Maybe it's been too long. You know, maybe seven years, being roommates, when we were in our 50s, it's not, it's not normal. You know? <laughs> maybe it's time that we go out and we find a nice... Potato farmer. A nice potato farmer. <laughs> get ourselves some honest work. Yeah. So in the land, <laughs> foraging for spuds. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be a potato farmer, Bob. I just want to be your roommate. I, I want to sit here and watch. Pretty little liars. Pretty little liars, right next to you. That show is for children. <laughs> I'm Fifty years old. I'm 
The dialogue is forced and it's contrived. <laughs> hey, come on, you're a grown man. Fine, then we'll just watch. Criminal mind. Criminal mind. Yes! You know, this isn't working. Now, that's what I just said five I know, minutes ago. I don't want to go to the potato farm, but I am going to say goodbye. And I'm going to say goodbye using my favorite poem. God, not that one. <laughs> Once upon a time, a man walked down the street, and he saw a dog. dog, and that dog walked, and he saw another dog, and then that dog saw a cat, cat and then that cat saw a fairy. fairy? <laughs> and the moral of that story is... <laughs> Friends don't need him. <laughs> they get rid of the freaking cats already! I'm laying my heart on the line here, Bob. I don't know what more I can say to you, Bob. Maybe it's just time to say goodbye. Maybe it's time to say hello. Hello. See, let's get Give her a big ball to the great hand.